Welcome back to In Debt for a Pet, the RuneScape challenge mode series where my bank is at stake whenever I get a pet. It's rebuild number three and today we start off with zero GP. Why zero GP? Well, I lost my third pet challenge, which was to kill the Awakened Duke in only three attempts. My bank value was 1.2 bill and now it's fallen. I lost everything. The In Debt for a Pet challenge pot once again grows larger. It's time to run it back turbo. I want to give the series a final goal. I've kind of just been flailing about with no direction, hoping to make serious bank, and it's clearly not very effective. So much of the end game now relies on the three mega rare weapons, and they are just so difficult to obtain given their price. Every time I get close, I get a pet, and I lose my challenge. Given this, I think it would be fun to go for the most prestigious item in game on a budget. Maybe I can afford a big boy weapon again soon, but I can't rely on getting one for progress. Time to do Grandmaster Combat Achievements, but poor. Time to get good, or die trying. You ever just spend your whole bank on one teleport? Looks like somebody never planted a spirit tree in Priftinus. It is so over for the pause. It's me. I I'm the pause. Oh, what a turnover. Yeah, yes. The corrupted gauntlet, a red prison for most. But according to the Wikipedia, this red prison can net you 4.8 mil per hour with nothing required but a quest. I'm just going to do one. Why? Because it's boring. Okay. And I believe there is a better rebuild method that is even more GP per hour than the Corrupted Gauntlet. All I need is a pestle and mortar and a sturdy wrist. I have doubled my bank in a mere minute of gameplay. I'm on to a winner. Black Chin Chompers are knocking about at over 4k each. Catching Black Chins has to be more sustainable for my brain than doing Corrupted Gauntlet for a 1 in 400 drop, surely. Peace at last. In the quiet contempt forest, just me and nature. Lovely. Bruv. What is this? Battle of the Burgers. We're both in 10k gear, mate. There's no point in this. Well, I still made 422k in about 15 minutes. Securing another untradeable, the Avas Accumulator. It's time to do a bit of testing. I reckon that Black Chin Chompers are more GP per hour than the Corrupted Gauntlet. If you one tick trap reset your box traps. Now, I would explain what that is, but these videos are not school videos. You will have to just Google it yourself. Is it possible to make over 4.8 mil GP per hour catching rodents? Before I break my wrists trying this out, it's time to thank today's sponsor, War Thunder, the most extensive, thorough, and comprehensive combat game ever made. Available on PC and next-gen consoles, commandeer over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships of 10 of Earth's major nations, ranging from biplanes and armored cars of the 1920s to the fighter jets and main battle tanks of today's era. Combat in War Thunder is authentic, realistic, and immersive. Customize your vehicle with countless camouflages, historical markings, and decorations. Click on the link below to register now. War Thunder have just released their Alpha Strike update. This means you can get your hands on more skins, jets, tanks, and helicopters to play with. War Thunder are offering us a free bonus pack across all platforms. Represent your nation, or another nation, and receive endless rewards and bonuses that will help you take over the world. Please note that the bonus is a limited offer, so hurry up. Join a worldwide community of over 73 million players in epic PvP battles. With unmatched high quality content to engage in, there is no better game suited to fans of military history or those who just want to blow shit up. PC, Xbox, PlayStation, use my link in the pinned comment or video description. New players and those who haven't played in six months will receive a huge bonus pack. Multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive Eagle of Valor vehicle decoration, 100,000 silver lines and seven days premium account membership. No, it, it's not. It's a bit less, but you need to take into account that I need to get an enhanced seed from Gauntlet to make it worthwhile. Well, in just an hour, my bank value is now 3.7 mil. There's a lesson in there, folks. Skilling good. The Wikipedia suggests catching black chins is 1.3 mil an hour. It's time to prove that wrong, make some serious bank, and maybe get the pet. If I bump into a PKer, I need to be prepared. I don't even have a defender right now, but I think this Gommel's thing is like, gives you some kind of bonuses? No? Okay, let's go get a defender. I am so glad the attack skill cape grants you free access to getting a dragon defender, otherwise it would take hours. At long last, it still took hours. Okay, well I've made a huge oversight because all the PKs here do not want to attack me and instead 
they want to attack my ult. I spent over an hour getting this defender and I just don't even need to defend myself. I've caught over 400 chins here, so I'm gonna ditch the dagger and get something a bit better. I'm single-handedly crushing the market. Right, it's time to stop messing around. Black chins are no longer selling for over 4k each. The rodent economy is in shambles. It's all Valamor's fault. So it's time to move on. I have zero slayer points and I'm locked into a Dagonoth King's boss task. So I've got to do it. <laughs> Look at my gear, it's, it's awful. But we make do. Well chaps, this is what 4.5 mil gets you. Wow, I think I lost money doing that task. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Some bones probably like 700k's worth but that doesn't pay for the scales and the amethyst darts oh man it's time to go back into the wilderness with my new friend mage arena 2 cape check i have a bear slayer task and i'm under the impression that the best weapon to kill these with is the accursed scepter it's only three mil it hits like a truck and it lowers magic defense something important to remember rto and callisto's magic defense is actually really low so you can wear tank gear and protect yourself against PKs whilst maging the boss. If you rock up to this boss in Mystics, you are basically free food. Proselyte top is really nice here because of the prayer bonus, but it's important to also take a dragon high top. Combined with the Varric skirt, you actually have quite a lot of mage defense. The biggest threat in the cave will always be the bear. For fuck's sake. So don't run next to the bear. Quit begging, I will reclaim the pet. Mage Arena 2 Cape 2, check. Ow! Why is that so loud? Why did the sound stack like that? I need to put my annoyance mute. Wow. I'm an idiot. I've done it again. Major remix for one cape. Blimey, it's not even worth 50k. Well, the task's over, and I think I pretty much broke even because I died twice. Three times. This is the best task where we make profit. Oh! Oh my god, yes. 35 million GP. Time to go shopping. Tukin's right, I'm about to okay. serve up some Omega. The only way that I'm getting some Grandmaster Combat Achievements done is if I have wealth. And to get wealth, you need to go, you, you just need to raid, really. Because all the Mega Rares just dominate the market. Before I print coin at raid, I need to get some all-important untradables back. Starting off with the Avas Assembler Backpack. With the money I make at Vorkaf, I'll go and get my Max Cape from Mac at the Max Cape Island. My budget raid gear also works as Musper gear, so I'll go off to the Phantom Musper to get my Ancient Icon back, which I'll inevitably use at the Inferno. What? How do you get here? The Vorkaf head was obtained in one trip, so I didn't make any money for my Max Cape. Ah, oh, go on. The back plaque, my bro, it's blue! I'm an avid watcher of 11 men kicking a ball around a field. So whenever matches are on, I go and do things like runecraft or something AFK to make money. I sold some wrath runes and bought my max cape. Back. The team I support sucks, so I've defaulted back to PVM. Oh, that's a spoon. All right, I've really spooned getting all my untradables this run. Just uh, seven Vorkafs for the head and 50 Muspa for the icon. I would run to the chest, but I'm pretty low on energy here. So let's just crack it open and anything but that. Anything but that. I have spent my weekend at the Chambers of Zeric with nothing but an arcane to show thus far. Well, at least I can sell all the herbs and crap as well as my BGS and upgrade to a Dragon Warhammer. A 62 raid dry streak and there's finally a purple in the chest. As long as it's not an arcane prayer scroll, it's time for me to take my bags to the Inferno. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Uh, the, the mega rare, but not the right one. I could have been a 
Finally, just over 100 mil bank value. Easily enough money to do the Inferno, but I need to get an Inferno Slayer task first. I'm still doing wilderness tasks, so I need to finish off uh, my boss task of Venonatus, and then I can go Turial skip for Inferno. What is Brev doing? This guy attacks me, and then when I attack back, he just like leaves. It's like the fourth time now. I don't... Are these guys bots? What? The audacity. Well there. I've made 9 mil at Spider, which is probably more than I made at Raids. Um, no Muspa pet yet, so let's make this ancient icon thing. Finally, the most important untradeable to get back. The Inferno Cape. Let's go get it. Steady. Okay, we proc healers. Healers proct! Sorry. When I when I'm nervous, I sometimes be stupid. Don't know why I'm nervous. I think because if I get this one, I get three combat tasks. I get the Grandmaster Inferno and Uh, what? No, I was not in the... Look, I'm gonna go back in, but I'm gonna go back in with a Bofa that I'm gonna get on this gauntlet chest. No hun left. Not that weapon seed, the other one. It will be this one. This is the one. <laughs> Ooh. Actually... That's that's good because all right I've got it I've I've sold almost everything in my bank to get this full crystal armor set and a bofa it's gone down in price recently so only problem is I can't afford an anguish and I kind of want that for the inferno I've done some math one venator shard equals one amulet of anguish yeah I don't I don't want to do this anymore because um three minutes eleven for a kill I got to do something else with this gear all right I reckon this is better GP per hour than Musper surely. All right, one KC done. Or, oh no, two because of the quest. Um, well then. Oh, lovely. Wow. Sorry, my, my microphone was in Narnia. That, like, this is really rare. And it's worth so much money, but I'll lose it if I get pets. So I don't really know what to do here. I've I, surely I've got to go for the other axe pieces, right? Finally, an orb. A few more of these, and I can uh, get my anguish. I I think that's it. I think I I should be able to afford the anguish here. Man, I, I definitely would have been better off at Musper. I think I would have gotten a uh, a venator shot quicker than the 100 plus it took me to make 12 mil which is the price of an anguish i did get the the leviathan's law though so after i get my inferno cape i'm definitely going for that soul reaper axe and that just like locks me in three to four hundred mil oh. where I died last time. I, I swear I was behind the shield, but we're going to be taking it very cautiously along this path. My weapon is long range. Yes. Yes. 
Only good. All right, awesome. Uh, Inferno Grandmaster and no luck needed done for the uh, for the um, combat achievements. And I also have now unlocked all the elite combat achievements. Let's go. Moves have been made on a budget, but I need to make more money. Honestly, if I want to do any of these speed run times for any of these combat achievements, I need big boy weapons. I have a nice head start to making almost half a billion GP because I got the Leviathan's Law. Probably the most annoying Soul Reaper axe part to obtain. Next video, I'll be finishing the entire axe and hopefully by then I'll have I've made enough to give some of those speedrun challenges a go. Oh, also, I'll be doing the Awakened bosses with budget gear. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring the video. It's free on all next-gen platforms. Use my link in the pinned comment or video description to play now.